Hey guys, back again, Monday. It is uh, in the afternoon here, a little later than we expected. But we both had a little business, a couple meetings that we had to attend. This is Bridget. Hi, Ron. She's a local preferred lender here in town, here in Breckenridge. And um, we are in, I think this one's cabin six. This is episode four. And <clears throat> We got the Super Bowl coming up this weekend. I'm actually going to be in Las Vegas uh, this weekend. And uh, next Monday, I got a special treat for you guys, a podcast from Vegas. So it won't be in the gondola, but I'll still, I'll still make a video. I'll still get it posted next Monday. Got a special guest on for that out in Las Vegas. It's not Elvis. And... Uh, here in the link, I'm also going to put, I'm gonna, or here in the description, I'm going to put a link for all you guys that are in Breckenridge, some great sports bars in Breckenridge that you can watch the Super Bowl uh, this Sunday at. And uh, I wanted to talk about two properties real quick. Actually, first thing, I want to, uh, I'm pretty happy today. I just got my first place under contract. So... High fives all the way around. <laughs> We're four weeks in here. Got my first place under contract. I'm really excited. Uh, it took a little bit of work, but uh, it was all well worth it. Hopefully, I'll be getting a listing out of it as well. Uh, it's going to be a condo at Lance's West. Um, don't hold me to that. Nothing's in concrete yet. But if you know anybody looking in that area, keep me in mind and uh, give me a, uh, shoot me a message and we can talk further. There's a couple properties I was gonna talk about real quick. One is out in Placer Valley. It's just on the other side of Hoosier Pass, about 20 minutes from Breckenridge. Uh, it's only about, all right, little malfunction there. Uh, I'll show you what I'm working with here <laughs> at the end of this, uh, but I got a suction cup holder deal and it fell off, so. We're back, here we go. Anyways, Placer Valley, 20 minutes south of Breck. This is a three bed, three bath. I'm gonna hold it open tomorrow from two to six, try to get that evening traffic coming from Breckenridge over to Alma, Fair Play, Park County there. And uh, I feel like this is gonna fall off again here real soon. Should we just switch? Nah, let's just keep our fingers crossed. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's listed at 725. It's a great place, amazing views. And the other one I was gonna talk about is a four bed, five bath over in Silverthorne. And I've actually been in this property before it was listed. It's absolutely magnificent. It's in the Angler Mountain Ranch and we're stopped. This episode might be a little bit longer here <laughs> since we're stopped. But this is the first time that we've, this is the first time we've been stopped on the gondola. But that's okay because I'm blabbing away and I still want Bridget to talk about several things. But Angler Mountain Ranch, um, it just came on the market yesterday, a couple days ago. And it's at 1.89, but it, uh, it's a four bed, five bath, 4,253 square feet. Absolutely magnificent views of 10 mile range. And uh, it's worth checking out if you can't make it there, at least on the internet. I love that area. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I wanted to have Bridget on. I wanted to uh, get her on. Uh, me and Bridget met through her husband, um, Chavis. I played rugby with him here a few years ago. Still play rugby with him when he can make it out. Goose, goose, goose. Goose, goose, <laughs> goose. And um, so I met her, uh, her through him and I wanted to her, have her on because right now we're really low inventory, high prices. I know I keep saying it, but it's the truth and uh, it's something that we got to deal with. In order to get that property that you want, you should be ready to pull the trigger on places. Just last week, uh, I had a couple miss out on a really nice place here in Breckenridge. Um, went under, went uh, under contract in less than 24 hours. Uh, saw it the day that it got listed. Next morning, went to set up showing, and it was under contract. It was pending. So. Anyways, I'm gonna let Bridget take it over here. Oh, we're both from Iowa. Well, I'm from Iowa, everybody knows that, but she's also from Iowa. She's from Dubuque. Go Hawkeyes. Go Hawkeyes, <laughs> go Hawks. Chavis isn't gonna like that. He went to Iowa State, but that's all right. That's his own fault. So anyways. I think um, the biggest thing that, you know, unfortunately hinders a lot of 
people who are trying to decide if they want to rent or buy. Um, oh my goodness. Rolling again? Little malfunction there again. <laughs> All right, here we go. Anyway, um, what I was saying was, um, I think a lot of people trying to decide if they're going to rent or buy um, have a, um, or under the understanding or misconception that it is a requirement to have 20% down to buy. And that's just not the case anymore. Um, even on the conventional side, um, you can get to as little as 3% down um, as long as it's the primary residence. So I think that's a big um, myth that a lot of people um, think they have to have all this money saved up. And uh, you and I know well that 3% uh, down in Iowa is a lot different than 3% down here in Colorado. Yeah. <laughs> Purchase prices here are probably three times as expensive as where we're from. So. I just looked it up before we came here. Uh, Summit County in whole, a condo average is 425 right now, and a home is 1.2. So yeah, a little bit higher. Yeah. A little bit harder to get that uh, Can you down payment. 425 would buy you in <laughs> Iowa. Yeah, yeah, actually. <laughs> Definitely yeah. more than a condo. <laughs> uh, really nice acreage. Yeah. Anyway, um, so that's I think the biggest the biggest difference on the USDA side um, and uh, VA side. So if you're a veteran, uh, you don't need anything down. So zero percent financing um, for those people who are able to take advantage of those. And obviously, as a veteran, they definitely deserve the uh, they deserve the ability to be able to get a home without uh, the zero percent down. So. So you said USDA, right? Yeah. A yeah. lot of people think that that's just for farms, it's just for... No, I think there's a lot of, I mean, probably not in Summit, Summit County proper, but Park County, um, you know, over on, on that side, um, can be USDA, and I think even towards Kremlin as well. Yeah. Um, so that's, you know, something that um, unfortunately you have to look at as far as where, where the property is located at. How it's so, right? Yeah. Rolling. So there's going to be several edits in this one. The camera just <laughs> fell again. <laughs> Sounds like I'm going to have to figure something out here better than this suction cup, but I love sorry. It. No worries. Um, so I would say that's kind of the biggest misconception. Um, obviously, without putting uh, the 20% down on a conventional, uh, there is the presence of mortgage insurance. Uh, so if you can put 20% down, you avoid uh, that extra portion in your monthly payment. Um, but certainly if you uh, can't put 20 percent down you still can get in the property with less than that so yeah there's i think there's a lot of options out there that people don't know about and there's a lot of myths and, and misconceptions that oh, yeah. that um people think and when it comes to it i just had a couple come in that was renting and uh they can't afford it can't afford it can't get qualified can't get qualified and they actually are now so uh it's worth taking a look with somebody like Bridget getting pre-qualified and getting ready to pull that trigger on your dream mountain home. Guys, we're at the top. We're gonna let you go. I'm gonna go back and do a bunch of editing. <laughs> we'll talk to you later. Thanks, bye. See you.